Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Global Talent Links IABC Book Quest Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. This is session four. Welcome. I hope you have read chapters six and seven. If you haven't, please stop, go back and read, and then join the session later. What did you think? Give yourself a few minutes to do the wheel decide. All explorers report. What did you think about what the sheep told Wilbur? What did you think about that? How often does Fern visit the farm? Do you think it is too much? Do you think it is too little? What does Wilbur think about how much Fern visits the farm and specifically him? And who is the newest member of the farm? What do you think about that? Chapter six, it is the beginning of summer and the days are warm and they are long. I love summer. I'm not sure if anybody else favorite summer over every other holiday season, but I do. Fern visits the farm often and the animals are starting to enjoy her visits. Think about that, right? Wouldn't you love somebody like Fern to visit you every day or every other day as often as she does? The goose's egg hatches. Templeton takes the one egg that won't hatch. What does this say about Templeton? What does this say? Even Mr. Zuckerman thinks that the baby gooselings are cute. Do you think this shows a softer side to who Mr. Zuckerman is? Why don't you think he shows that side more often? Can he show that side of himself more often or no? Chapter seven, Wilbur has been enjoying his daily routines and three meals a day. Nice. Until old sheep joyously tells him the bad news. Wilbur is hysterical that he is planned to be killed and eaten. Eek. Right? Don't we eat pigs? Charlotte, stern but kind, tells him to calm down. She takes on this motherly figure for Wilbur in the story, and Charlotte refuses to allow him to die and starts to think of a plan like any good mama would. Plot, please click on the wheel to side and then come on back. Play that activity there. Have you ever read a story or even watched a movie that didn't have a problem or a conflict? Take that question a little bit further. Do you think that would be a successful story or movie if there was no conflict in it? Plot. Plot is an element of literature. Without it, you wouldn't have a story. Please watch the plot video for your own enjoyment. Uh, just to give you a basic understanding of what this element of literature is. Have you ever seen a plot diagram? If you haven't, here it is, and maybe you've seen it like this, maybe you've seen it in the design of a roller coaster, maybe you've seen a more fluid one. Um, this is your standard plot diagram, right? You have the exposition, that's the beginning of the story, the introduction of the characters, the introduction of a setting. Rising action, that's where the events start to build. We start to learn about a conflict, whether it be internal or external. Climax is that aha moment, the <gasps> cliffhanger, what's going to happen type moment. Falling action is when events start to get settled to the resolution. And sometimes there is not always a resolution to a story, right? Here are your definitions for you as well. Breakout, what are we on? Chapter seven, you've ended chapter seven. Where in the plot diagram are we? What do you predict is going to happen? And also, did your prediction from the last session come true? I hope so. And if not, where did you go wrong? Or not even wrong in the, in the negative sense, but where were you sent in one direction and it didn't end up to be that, right? Here's this theme of friendship. The emotion or conduct of friends. What do you think makes someone a good friend? many qualities and we don't have to agree on what makes up our definition of a good friend. And if you could imagine a perfect friend, what would that friend look like? What kind of qualities would that friend have? That word perfect is so tough. What would a perfect friend be to you? And remember, a perfect friend to you might not be a perfect friend to me or to your own friends, right? That's what makes it personal. How does each character show 
friendship. We certainly know how Charlotte and Fern do. How does Wilbur return this idea of what makes a good friend? Start to internalize, reflect upon who you are as a friend. And if you could pick one area in which you could improve to be a better friend, what would it be? For me, it would be getting back to people, right? Sometimes I feel like my, my life day to day, day in and day out is so hectic that I forget to just reach out and say, how are you? What's going on? How has it been? It's been so long. I, I know I could improve on that as a person, as a friend. A friend is kind. A friend is loyal. A friend is honest and a friend has to be honest to me, right? Not always telling their truth, but telling me my truth, sort of checking me a little bit. A friend is accepting. No matter my flaws, a good friend to me loves me in spite of my flaws. A friend shows respect to me, to my husband, to my kids, to our property, to our things, to our choices in life. And friends shouldn't put pressure on one another. Some vocab words for you to take a look at. You have interlude, which is an intervening period of time. And morals, motivation according to our inner values. Certainly some morals are going to be called into question as we further our journey into Charlotte's Web. Share with your group one thing you have learned during this session and tell your group what you think is going to happen in the upcoming chapters. Remember, I love the idea of predicting and seeing if my predictions come true or not. As always, here's some optional team chat topics. One, who do you think is a better friend to Wilbur, Fern or Charlotte? Hmm. Do you think Charlotte can save Wilbur? Can the itty bitty spider save a pig? And share with the group about one of your friends. Tell us about your friendships, a way to connect with one another. Your mission before next time, please read chapters eight, nine, and 10. Think what action does Charlotte take here? And our word of wisdom for next session is compassion. Which character shows compassion? throughout the story. As always, reach out for questions, comments, or concerns. Ladies and gentlemen, have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time.